Well, today we will be talking about graphs in SPSS. Uh, consider this a brief introduction to graphs because as you will see, the amount of possibilities for you to generate graphs in SPSS is really huge. So it will take hours and hours to explain every single option in the graph uh, menu of SPSS. Additionally, as you will see, the type of graph that you use, that you generate, depends on the type of analysis you are making. So, for example, uh, a bar chart will be useful for an independent sample t-test or one way or another. A clustered uh, bar chart is more useful for a two-way or another. And say a scatter plot is really useful for a linear regression or a correlation. So. Uh, again, this is a, an introduction for you to understand how to generate graphs on SPSS. Now, uh, this file I have here is uh, uh, has a, a slight variation from the previous uh, data file. I have just included uh, five new variables here for the uh, pesticide brands. And additionally, in the data view, I decided to add uh, 30 more cases. So, is uh, again, this is just uh, a, a, an example for you to see how things work on SPSS. But again, this is makeup data. So, let's jump into the graph topic. For you to generate graphs, all you have to do is come here to the menu graphs. And you have two options. Either you can click on Chart Builder, or just hover your mouth mouse over uh, Legacy Dialogs, and you can select uh, from these options. We're going to click on Chart Builder. Uh, the, the program just give us this uh, small uh, dialog. We just click OK, and here we are in the Chart Builder window. As I said before. And now you can see the amount of uh, possibilities for you to generate graphs is really huge. So, for now, we will explain the bar chart, the clustered bar chart, and something else later. So, if you want to generate a bar chart, a simple bar, you just have to drag and drop from here to here. And when you do it, the element properties window just pops out. You can close it and open it again. You can close it also with the element properties button here. Now, uh, we want for this example to uh, see two things. We want age on the y-axis. We have the mean age. And pesticide on the x-axis. So the bar will show us um, the mean age of the farmers and uh, which type, uh, which brand of pesticide they use. So uh, you can uh, come here to the element properties and you can see that uh, new options pop out depending on on the option that you have selected. So we will keep everything to the default and uh, for now we will just click OK. So as you can see our graph has been generated. We can see here uh, the mean age in the brand of pesticides. We can see here that uh, people over 30 years they prefer crawling insects and people about 27 years old they prefer dead on arrival so let's generate another one and instead of pesticides let's change that for education click ok and now we have this we see that uh, people over uh, 40 they uh, tend to have a PhD and people under 30 they have only high school. Now, 
let's generate another type of graph this time we are going to use the clustered uh, bar so now we want to include the gender so we uh, drag and drop gender on the cluster on X so uh, we can change the colors but we will uh, keep defaults now uh, we will uh, change education for pesticide and uh, we are interested again in age it's just that now we have the gender on this option cluster on X now we have just to click OK and as you can see now we have the different means between the um, uh, genders male and female we can see for example date on arrival uh, males over 30 years uh, they prefer it but uh, females about uh, 22 or 23 years old they prefer this brand okay so I'm going to show you right now how to generate a scatter plot it's exactly the same procedure as with the cluster button bar chart and the simple bar chart you just have to go to graphs chart builder this card or disregard uh, this dialog and now you just have to click here on scatter and in this case we want to drag and drop the first uh, option and now what we want is uh, this brand of pesticide crawling insect and age on the x-axis for now we will just click ok to see what happens so as you can see here this color plot has been generated now I have decided to change uh, the axis of our information here so age is now on the y-axis and crawling insect on the x uh, for now, uh, you see we have all this information here. How to interpret this is going to be explained in subsequent the videos. I just can tell you now it's better if you have a decent uh, sample size when you try to um, make any sense out of these graphs. In this case, it's only 50 uh, uh, fictional participants for this example so uh, it's not the best thing uh, to try to understand the graph with such a small sample size nevertheless and I repeat it this is just for you to understand how this graph works on SPSS now if you double click on this graph as you can see I just hovered mouse over the graph and uh, gave me the tooltip to double click to activate it I just did it now you can start to add uh, more information to the graph for example and uh, you can add the and the lines so you can come you can come to options um, uh, I'm sorry to elements and say and click on uh, fit line at total now so you can see that line has been generated you can close this and we have this information here once again how to interpret is going to be explained in subsequent videos where we will be dealing with real data and with this we'll finish uh, this uh, video about graphs uh, don't forget if you want you can download the file the data file used for this example and uh, see you next time